Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to consider another instruction for PIC 18F microcontroller. Uh, but this tutorial will be connected with the last tutorial. In last tutorial, we learned about defined by directive by which you can actually define fixed data inside program memory, right? Uh, and that data can be called and used uh, while program is being executed. Uh, so this is wonderful way uh, to utilize the remaining uh, storage area of program memory, especially when you can store data inside that program memory. Right, so this time we will be storing again data, fixed data in program memory using defined byte or DB uh, directive in PIC 18F microcontroller. Uh, but this time your data will be about uh, of a string data type, right? You know that string is chain of characters or series of characters or a sentence. You can simply store that sentence or a word in uh, program memory as a fixed data type, right? So how you can do it? Let's do it do it let's say the label of data is data one you can it can be anything it is just a label then you will use your defined by directive or db and then you will mention your uh data in uh, uh, uh in double quotes right so hello let's say i'm gonna store it or i can also write the same thing like using this data db H, sorry, in single quote, H, comma, E, again, E, in single quote, comma, L, again, in sim single quote, again, comma, L, again, in single quote, and again, O. So these are two different ways of storing hello world or hello world in uh, as a string in as a string fixed data type or uh, in program memory and both commands will store uh, hello in program memory but you know that you have to also define uh, for a db de assembly directive or defined by the assembly directive uh, the location which is present in, uh, of uh, or the address of the program memory so you can say that let's say originate 200 hacks right so it will store at originate 200 hacks furthermore i want to just remind you uh, remember that your uh, program memory address starts from one and goes to one double F, sorry, four times F, sorry, five times F. So this is around two million byte or two megabyte memory. So you can use any of the store, any of the address of this range and we are using what 200 X, right? So what is going to happen? Uh, location, let's say we are writing address in bracket location 200 hertz will store uh, H in ASCII because uh, you know that uh, it is it will be stored in ASCII and for ASCII you can take its value uh, uh, from any ASCII conversion table okay then again uh, 201 what will be stored uh, E will be stored in ASCII at 202 H is a, is a hexadecimal. So basically there will be what L is stored in ASCII, right? Uh, just for sake of your reference, I can just tell you for H, what will be ASCII equivalent. So for H, if you find table of ASCII, you will find it will be equal to uh, 48, right? 48 hacks, right? Similarly, for E, it will be around 45 hacks. For L, it will be for C. And again, it will proceed for next L and then for O, right? So in this way, you can store your ASCII uh, equivalent of strings in program memory, and then you can call it uh, if you need them during the execution of program. So this is a wonderful way by which you can store string data type in, as a fixed data uh, in program memory using defined bytes assembly directive. I hope you have understand this video tutorial. Still, if you have any confusion or questions regarding defined byte assembly directive, you can post your queries and uh, questions in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.